On November 18, 2024, Northrop Grumman announced the delivery of the first stand-in attack weapon, or CAW, to the U.S. Air Force. While this is an inert test version, it's a significant milestone in the missile's development. The test weapon will be used to confirm the compatibility of launch aircraft with the CAW system, marking the start of its critical flight testing phase. The CAW is a next-generation tactical air-to-ground missile designed to strike rapidly moving and relocatable targets. These include ballistic missile launchers, cruise and anti-ship systems, GPS jammers, electronic warfare platforms, and integrated air defense systems. Designed for fifth-generation aircraft like the F-35A Lightning II, the missile fits into internal weapon bays to maintain stealth. Future integration with platforms like the B-21 Raider Stealth Bomber is also planned. This program, officially launched in 2022, is part of the Air Force's broader efforts to enhance strike capabilities against high-value targets in contested environments. In September 2023, Northrop Grumman was awarded a $705 million contract to develop and test the CAW missile. The goal is to achieve initial operational capability by 2026, with plans to acquire up to 3,000 missiles starting in 2028. The CAW program takes a phased approach. Early tests focus on validating its flight performance, while later phases include delivering prototype missiles and testing assets. The missile builds on lessons learned from Northrop Grumman's work on the AGM-88G Advanced Anti-Radiation Guided Missile Extended Range, or ARGMER. Though the two missiles share similarities, the CAW features tailored enhancements, such as an advanced warhead, improved propulsion, and superior maneuverability. Beyond its role with the Air Force, the CAW could inspire variants for ground or ship-based platforms, extending its utility to surface-to-surface -surface missions. Allied nations, already investing in systems like the ARGMER, may also adopt the CAW for similar purposes. This delivery marks a significant step forward in the U.S. Air Force's efforts to modernize its strike capabilities, ensuring it remains prepared to counter emerging threats in today's dynamic combat environments.